Oh, hi, my name's Renee Edwards. I produced, directed and edited uh, One Note at a Time, the film that's here at the festival. Every Sunday when I go to church, I want to go there when we finish. And I don't have anywhere to go when we finish because everybody's gone. Everybody in my family is gone. You know, we loved each other in our own way. But I didn't realize until after what I really had. You said you heard the hurricanes change course are coming right up the river. 1,800 people died. That was documented. You could hear a pin drop in the daytime. No birds, no nothing. This is New Orleans. Ain't nothing like New Orleans. And we love music. It was a blessing to come home and watch people come to the little bars at night, hear us playing. I felt the responsibility to come back and take care of it. We offer primary care to help musicians who never have insurance. They work 80, 90 hours a week rehearsing and gigging, and it takes a wear and tear in their body. They're telling me they don't want me to work for as many nights a week as I'm working right now. This is why it's hard to pay bills. I've been eating all kind of crazy things. You know, you're on the road, you, you have to go and eat it. All of those musicians had health problems, whether it was physical or whether it was mental or emotional, and the clinic was there for them. They saved my life four or five times. Well, originally I wanted to, after Hurricane Katrina happened in New Orleans, I was um, really worried and concerned about the jazz funeral tradition. And so um, I thought I'll go and you know, see if there's a documentary to be made about that. And um, whilst I was there, I sort of talked to quite a lot of people and discovered that obviously, you know, the whole music scene was in a disarray and um, there's a lot of other complex issues around the culture of New Orleans. So um, the story sort of changed into a wider, um, story about what was going on and what was happening with the musicians. Because once we discovered the New Orleans Musicians Clinic and we wanted to tell the story through the clinic because it seemed like a really good metaphor for um, the health of the music industry and the health of the literally the musicians themselves. Yeah. And, and I think a lot of the musicians they wanted to work on to be part of the film because they thought it would help the clinic and um, I think they could see how you know dedicated we were. And uh, so, yeah, it was amazing. And one person would introduce us to the next person, to the next person, to the next person, and it was just fantastic. And they were, uh, and they were, you know, wonderful, adorable, so open and giving. And uh, yeah, I completely fell in love with them. I hope that people take the importance of um, healthcare, people having access to healthcare in, in all over the world, um, and also to nurture, and nourish people who are in the arts. Um, and. Obviously, um, you know, things are changing in America at the moment, so healthcare is, you know, in a really difficult situation. So hopefully, you know, some of the powers that be might have, take something away from the film as well. Um, it might influence things in that way. Um, I think also the importance of and how uh, much um, people actually working together to make something better mm -hmm. can actually work. I'm over the mood to be here. Oh, it's such a dream. I used to live in Oxford too, so yeah, so I'm really over the moon. Thank you for having us here. And, I'm, and I'd also like to say that I am representing a lot of people, you know, so many people are part of making this film um, in front and behind the camera. So I'm really happy to be here and represent them.